Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. Today's video, we're doing a 1980 Piper Chieftain CR that's had the lock and key uh, upgrade back in 2014. This airplane's got a little over 6,000 hours, uh, mid-time motors. We're gonna take you along for a ride and show you a Navajo CR by lock and key. Tower, southbound approval, runway 26 left, Pacific takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 26 left, sub 4 Lima Kilo. Okay, mixtures, props. Tower, long Quebec, we're going uh, to Zamperini Tour. Got to make pumps on. Traffic, long yep. Quebec. Got all oh, our lights. Make this straight out. Straight out, departure, long Quebec. Anything happens, uh, if it's not accelerating, we don't like anything, we're going to sh shut her down. Sounds good. know about our fuel pressures. Uh, zero two Yankee, make left at the river, one two six right, clear for takeoff. Zero two Yankee, uh, left, two six right, clear for takeoff, left by river, zero two Yankee. Hey, we got a gear up. Base approved, runway 26 right, clear line. Base approved, 5-3-7, base approved, runway 26 right, clear line, 5-3-7. Okay, we're, uh, we're uh, circling, orbiting a little bit out, of Cat out by Catalina here. This is really kind of a my first uh, shakedown flight of this airplane. As you can see, it's a really nice, nicely equipped uh, Navajo 1980. And I think Piper came out with these airplanes in the late 60s. In the mid-70s, uh, current production went through uh, the way, way this airplane is, uh, went through about 1983. And this is originally a CR with counter-rotating propellers. And uh, pretty good airplane, I mean, uh, you know, a big cabin, and this one has the uh, lock and key conversion on it, which is a really extensive uh, refurbishment of the airplane. All new avionics, G600, 750, 650, JPA 960 uh, engine monitor, Aspen uh, co-pilot with some uh, analog gauges. Really well equipped, and, and uh, this is the first time I've flown this particular Navajo, and it. I've forgotten how nice they fly. Really nice. Big cabin, a lot of room for uh, passengers, baggage. Really known as a, a really comfortable airplane. And I'm not pushing it too hard uh, right now just because we're doing some shakedown on this new uh, JPI that we uh, that we put in. We've got a, a, a fuel pressure uh, issue that we're trying to sort out. But other than that, uh, the airplane is, uh, is really a, 
very nice controlling airplane. Very sweet on the uh, ailerons. And, uh, you know, for somebody that's looking for a Baron or, you know, a, a piston twin to, to get around in, you want a little more space with comparable performance, uh, uh, this, this could be a good, uh, a good choice and all the updates that have been done on it. This particular airplane has about a 6,500 pound gross weight, I believe. This airplane's about 40, 4,800 pounds empty. I'm giving you around numbers. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,750 useful load. 180 gallons of gas, so you're probably 650 to 700 pound full fuel payload. And, uh, you know, just cruising around here, the way we've got it set up, we're doing about 170 knots true. If you go up, it's turbocharged, you go up high, you know, you're going to get north of 200 knots uh, uh, out of it. And uh, again, you know, it's not as popular as like a Baron, but it's better performance and a much bigger cabin uh, where. You know, passengers are going to be a lot more comfortable in this airplane uh, than they would be in a Baron. And this conversion, you know, this lock and key conversion really uh, makes it, you know, like a newer, a newer uh, configuration with the uh, with the quality of work that's done on the inside. Again, this one was done, I think, in 2014. A really nice airplane. I'm real impressed with it. Great avionics. Motors sound nice and smooth. Good engine monitoring and a big cabin, so uh, you know I, I'm impressed. If you're interested in an airplane like this or this particular one, it's it's still available. We got it here in Long Beach, and uh, you know feel free to give me a call, and we'll take you through the logs and all the uh, all the specifics on it. And we're running out of daylight here, so we're gonna end this video. Appreciate you watching, and uh, thanks for going along. Gears down, three green. As soon as I roll wings level, you can give me flaps. Pumps are on. Mixture's rich. Right. Okay. Give me full flaps. All right. Speed checked and flaps full. He's gonna make me go around because it's freaking yeah. Cherokee. Yeah. Flaps are full. Flaps full. Yep. Yeah. Landing lights are on. Yeah, lights on. Gears down, three green, flaps are land, mixtures, props, and pumps. We're going to clear this guy. I like the speed. See, that guy told me to turn base, but I couldn't have been any f earlier. Just don't like the way pipers flare. Look at that. Base our discretion, 26 left, clear to land, 139. Helicopter 156, pad 3, requesting left close traffic. Helicopter 156, pad 3, clear for takeoff. Pad 3, clear for takeoff, helicopter 156.